I know what you guys are thinking. There's no way Pikachu is usable on the rank ladder. And I'm going to tell you guys this. It definitely is. This Pokemon is crazy strong and hits like a truck. I'm super excited to be bringing you guys a Pikachu team. Hopefully we get to rock out with it, grab some wins for you guys, and maybe even a winning record. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. I also want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Pokeberm. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. If you guys do want the Pokepace and want to check out this team more in depth, make sure you head over to Pokeberm's channel. Link will be down in the description below. But Pikachu is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Haven't used it on the rank ladder yet and haven't seen it on the rank ladder yet for Scarlet and Violet. Definitely use it in Sword and Shield, but not Scarlet and Violet. This one has Lightning Rod, the Light Ball as its item, which is pretty much the only item a ranked Pikachu can hold. It has Thunder, Discharge, Fake Out, and Surf. Super excited to be using this Pokemon. We got Dragonite in our second, second slot, and Dragonite has been taken over to meta when it's paired up with Shen Pao. And by the way, we have Shen Pao on this team, if you guys haven't seen already. This one has Multi-Scale, the Lumberry, Rock Slide, Extreme Speed, Tailwind, and Protect. Third slot, we got my boy Pelipper, Paloops, whatever you guys want to call it, Drizzle, Citrus Berry, Hurricane, U-Turn, Icy Wind, and Wide Guard. So, very versatile moveset, this Pelipper can do a lot in battle. Fourth slot, we're not even going to talk about it. It's a Moongus, normal build, normal everything. He's there for support. That's all you guys need to know. We got Gyarados in our fifth slot. Gyarados has been taken over to meta. Been seeing this Pokemon a ton in Series 3, but this one is really strong. It has a great move set with Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance, and EQ. Then it's Rocket Safety Goggles, and then obviously Rocket Intimidate, such a good ability. Drop an attack by one stage. Can't go wrong with it. Shen Pao is going to be our final Pokemon, and like I said, it pairs up with Dragonite perfectly, and it can do work by itself. It has the Swords of Ruin as its ability, the Focus Sash as item, and then a great move set of Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Lightning Rod Pikachu team. First match coming at you guys, and it is a brand new season. So we're starting off 0-0, zero and zero, looking for our first win for the new season, and we're going up against a Jump Bluff and Torkoal team. So... Very, very strong. Definitely going to be bringing Pelipper as a back-end Pokemon, just so in case they want to lead Torkoal. We can just swap into Pelipper and kind of just go from there. But I might lead Pikachu. I can fake out turn one. I can do a good bit. So, you know, I'm going to go Pikachu, and I'm going to also go... Mm, I really don't want to go Gyarados. Shen Pao's not bad here. I kind of like Shen Pao. We got the fighting moves. We got a lot. We got the Focus Ash, all that good stuff. So, I might go Shen Pao. Pikachu, Shen Pao would not be bad. Or I could just go Dragonite, maybe fake out, pop a Tailwind, take Speed Control. I like that. Yeah, and then we're going to go Pelper, and then last but not least, we got to bring Shen Pao. I like that a lot. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I wonder what our opponent's going to do here. I feel like weather's just, it's just so big right now, right? Weather is just big in this battle. They got Torkoal, I got Pelper. Hopefully they just don't bring the Torkoal and kind of just get after the match that way. But we'll play it as it goes. But Jump Bluff and Iron B come out here. And the Iron B. Um, I feel like we just fake out. Mm, do we fake out the Jump Bluff? Could fake out the Iron B. I feel like Iron B is just going to swap. So faking out the Jump Bluff could be the call here. I could also Terrasilize in a normal and just Tailwind Pop. Could be my play. It could definitely be my play. And I think that is going to be my play. And the reason I'm just going to Terrasilize is just so Iron B can't take me out with any Ice move. Right? It could be terrible. But they're going to also Terrasilize himself. So is it going to be Jump Bluff? Is it going to be... Delibird and this Delibird. Delibird's gonna go to a ghost type. So he thinks he's reading me here. He thinks he is reading me here, but you're really not. Ghost type is solid, but I'm just setting up a tailwind here. That is my play all day. I'm just setting up a tailwind. I'm looking to fake out with the Pikachu and then get after this match. So we'll see what he wants to do. I could actually change the weather in the rain if I want to. I could definitely do that. And then maybe just surf across the board, which wouldn't be a bad call for us. It really wouldn't. We're just going to chip up the uh, jump bluff here. A little bit of fake out action. Make it flinch and freeze try. It does pop out here. So that's exactly why we terrestrialize. That is exactly why we terrestrialize. And jump bluff's going to tailwind as well. You little biscuit. And you are... We faked you out. You have the uh, covert cloak. That is wild. That is that is wild. That is no good. So we do match this tailwind. That's not too bad. I could discharge. I could go for a thunder. I could swap into like a Pokemon like Pelipper. Or I can just go into E-Speed here, right? I could swap Pikachu for, like, Shen Pao. And then Sucker Punch. Oh, yeah, that's our play. We're going to swap into Shen Pao. And I'm just going to E-Speed the Jump Bluff down. That's my play. 
So we're gonna swap into Shen Pao. We can then sucker punch Deli Bird whenever we want to next turn. We can pretty much just get after it, so. <clears throat> I do like that. I do like that. I doubt you swap into Torkoal here. I highly do doubt that. You do not. So E Speed comes out here. We get the Shen Pao Dragonite out here. And that does not take out the Jump Bluff. Jump Bluff's able to soak. And you're gonna go for an Encore, which is going to fail. We like that. We like that. So we waste a turn there. And now you sleep powder me. How dare you? How dare you sleep powder me? How dare you sleep powder me? Um so from here, oh, I have the lumber. I totally forgot. That's big time. So from here, we are sitting pretty good. I think I just sucker punch this slot, and then I just go into an E-Speed, or I can Rock Slide. I mean, we don't outspeed, do we? Probably not. So yeah, e speed's just going to be a play. Jump Bluff's probably going to protect, maybe even swap. You never know. You never know. But great first couple turns from us, right? He ends up withdrawing the Jump Bluff. Into who? Into whom? Fluttermane? King Gambit. Okay. No, you don't have Fluttermane, I don't believe. But King Gambit's a decent uh, swap. I can always go into a... Uh, I can always go into a, what's called, a Sacred Sword with Shen Pao. Sucker Punch comes out here. Does this KO? Of course, you're Sash. That hurts so, man. Sashing up like that. You really sashing up like that? This little Sash. And Hydro Pump's gonna fly here. So Hydro Pump comes out here. Um, hmm. I feel like from here, I just gotta protect you. And then maybe just rock slide. Actually, no, I can't e-speed the bundle. I have to get rid of the bundle. I have to get rid of the bundle. I'm going to protect my Shen Pao. We still have Pikachu and Pelipper in the back end, which is good. They still have Jump Bluff and whoever their final Pokemon is. They go for an Encore into my Sucker Punch. Try to Encore my Sucker Punch. That's fine. We're rock slide and we are going to be able to take out a uh, bundle. And now I can Sacred Sword the... I can Sacred Sword the what's it called, which is good. The Gambit. Unless he's just gonna sucker punch me. So Kowtow Cleave's gonna fly here. That's gonna do some big time damage. And it doesn't KO me, which is good. The Tailwind's gone. I can still E speed, which is gonna be good. And we'll go from here. We shall go from here. So pretty strong start from us. And Torkoal does come out here. I'm just gonna E speed it. I think I just E speed it, right? If he takes out both my Pokemon, that's fine. I just gotta get off as much damage as I can. So Sacred Sword's gonna pop here. And then I'm just going to E-Speed into the Torkoal slot, and we will go from there. They're trying to get off as much damage as I possibly can onto that thing. And that's a good chunk. That is a lovely chunk. The Sucker Punch does come out here. Yeah, I kind of figured that. And he's going to take out my Shen Pao, and then on top of that, he is going to take out my Dragonite. So I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. Like, we have Pikachu ready to go. We got Pelipper coming in hot here. I could set up a Tailwind with him if I wanted to. I have options. I do have options here. Oh, actually, I don't have Tailwind for him. I do have Icy Wind, though. Icy Wind's not bad, but I feel like we already outspeed. We will outspeed everybody besides Jump Bluff. And Jump Bluff's a little bit of a problem. So we're going to go into these two. Loving it. I could Wide Guard. Um, am I really worried about the what's it called? I think I can just Hurricane you down, do some damage onto you, and then just drop a Thunder. Or I could Surf across the board. I could Surf. What would do more damage? Thunder's 110 stab. This one has the rain boost, but it's not sad. I think Thunder does more. So I'm just going to Thunder the King Gambit slot down. Who might even swap? Yeah, he's going to swap and jump off. Who we're going to KO here with a Hurricane, which is big time. And we're kind of hoping he's just not protecting the uh, the Gambit, right? He does not. That's big time. So Thunder's going to poke here. Pikachu doing a nice chunk of damage. Can we get the para? We do not get the para, but jump off should die out here. We say bye-bye to you. I could have actually faked out the Gambit, but I just didn't see the point of doing that. I did not see the point. And he goes for the Kowtow Cleave in that Pelipper, right? Pelipper's able to soak. Okay. So Sun comes back out. Little bit of an issue, right? Tad bit of an issue. Um, hmm. And how should I play this one? Because how can we get some damage off here? Hmm. I could go for the Discharge, but the problem here is I don't want to hit my boy. I simply do not want to hit my boy. I could go for the U-Turn. You turn Surf play? How much damage is Surf really going to do? How much damage is Surf really going to do? I feel like Torkoal's got to be the Pokemon that goes, right? Could Wide Guard. Wide Guard and Surf? I think I'm down with that. Chip up a little bit of damage here. I'm going to Wide Guard out here. I think Torkoal goes for like a Heat Wave or something like that. Hopefully not Earth Power. Sucker Punch comes through. Can you soak that peak? You cannot. That hurts, man. That hurts the soul. 
that Pikachu drops out the bat, and I thought we were going to win this match. Heat Wave comes out, we block it. Is there any chance of us winning this match? Probably not, right? Probably not. So we don't even have a water move, and we really can't take out that Torkoal. So let's see how much damage U-Turn would have done. Sucker Punch comes out of here. That's going to chuck up damage, and the Torkoal can pretty much just finish me off. Wait a minute. Citrus Berry out and about. Uh, we can't take out the Torkoal. There's no way we take out Torkoal, and Torkoal pretty much KOs us here, right? Heat Wave comes out here. And how are you outspeeding my Pelipper? Hold up. I don't think you have a Tailwind yet. We weren't KO in the King Gambit. How are you outspeeding my Pelipper? How slow are you, Pelipper? Give me a second. How slow are you, Pelipper? 85? That thing's really fast at me. That's weird. That is definitely weird to see. See my Pelipper get outsped by a Torkoal. But, hey, match number one's going to go to our opponent. They brought out Torkoal at the perfect time. A little rough for us because... I thought we were going to catch that dub, but second match, I promise you guys a victory. Not the best way to start off the brand new season. We are 0-1, but we're looking to get back after it, hopping into our second match. Going up against this typical Dragapult and Shen Pao team with Palafin, Arcanine, and then they're rocking out with Fluttermane and Amoongus. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? Pikachu and Gyarados really isn't bad here. But I think I can go for Fake Out and then potentially just set up an easy Dragon Dance, which could be very, very good for us. So I'm kind of leaning towards Pikachu. Pikachu Gyarados. Ooh. Gyarados doesn't have Protect though, does it? I don't think it does. Right? You do not. The reason I want to know is just because of like uh, discharge purposes. But Pikachu Gyarados, I really don't mind because of Intimidate. But if they go Arcanine, ah, I don't like that. I don't like if he goes Arcanine. I could Surf it. But Arcanine can really do me bad. But then I Intimidate that. But I think Palafin's going to be a lead for them, right? So I'm going to go Pikachu. I am going to go Gary. Um, I am going to bring Dragonite Shen Pao. I can get down with Dragon and Shen Pao. I'm with it all day. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two with Pikachu. With Pikachu. I really did think we were going to win that first match, but they swapped Torkoal at the perfect time. And we really didn't have any moves to take out Torkoal. If I had like Hydro Pump or something, maybe we could have actually won that match. But we just didn't have enough attack power. We really did not have enough attack power, especially when he set the uh, weather into something else. Just didn't be dirty. It didn't be so dirty. But Palfin Amoongus is going to be the lead. Um... Huh. How do I play this one? Gotta fake out the what's called. Gotta fake out the Moogus set up a D-Dance, right? Gotta fake out the Moogus and set up a D-Dance. This Palafin's probably swapping here. Hmm. D-Dance up. Yeah, yeah. Fake out the Moogus. Drop a nice little D-Dance. I think Palafin's gonna swap here, right? And then we can kind of just get after it this way. So we'll see what they want to do. We shall see. Because, again, I think a Moogus is just going for like a Spore... Something like that. Just just being there for uh, support purposes with Palafin next to it. So I'm just going to fake it out. He's going to withdraw the Palafin. Yeah, it's a solid turn for us. So it's a free D-Dance turn for us. And Fluttermane does come out here. So we're going to actually D-Dance up. And I might have to Ice Fang that Pokemon. Could be annoying. Could definitely be very, very annoying. But I got to see my Gyarados' Terror type. I think it's ground. I believe it is ground. The Fake Out's going to come out here. Build, do some nice damage. And get the flinch. So cool. Now we D-Dance up. We get that free plus one attack and speed. So from here, I could actually swap into Shen Pao if I want to and save my Pikachu for later purposes, which I mean wouldn't be a bad call. But the problem would be if I go in the Shen Pao, then, then it's a little bit of a problem because he can just go into a, uh, what's it called? A, uh, like a Dazzle Gleam or something and take me out. Let me see your speed. So Gyarados is obviously going to be faster than uh, Pikachu now. But I don't know if Gyarados is faster than Fluttermane. I think a, a, a what's called it is going to come out here. I'm still going to go for the Thunder. I'm going to say screw it. But I think a Rage Powder might come out here. So I'm just going to Ice Fang into the Moogus slot. Instead of going after the Fluttermane with a Waterfall. Because I don't want him to Rage Powder and then just waste out a turn where I can get off big damage. Because if I go for Waterfall, they go for Rage Powder. We really don't do that much damage onto the Moogus. And there it is. There's the Rage Powder right there. Let's pop this nice little Ice Fang. See how much damage we can do. Ice Fang coming out here. Does not KO, but it does a nice chunk of damage here. And of course you have the berry. Of course. Just of course. Of course you're rocking the citrus berry. Hurts the soul. I mean, land is thunder at least. Moonblast coming out. Are you taking out my Pikachu? Or are you going to go after my Gyarados? And Gyarados outspeeds, which is great. It is good. Thunder is going to land. It's not going to KO, but still do a little bit of damage, which we like. So if I had to guess, another uh, Rage Powder is probably going to come in here. And I'm just going to Ice Fang and... I'm going to double down on Fluttermane. I'm going to Ice Fang and Thunder. 
you go for rage powder, you go for rage powder. It's not that big of a deal. But you could also protect. You could also protect. So I'm just going to double down into the Flutter main slot just in case. Just in case protect comes out here rather than rage powder. Nope, it's going to be rage powder. So Ice Fang's going to slide over. Ice Fang's going to KO the Moongus. Flutter main's going to KO my Gyarados Pikachu. Wait, why did I dodge it? Oh, I have safety goggles. Oh my lord. That's actually really big. That's really big. I have safety goggles. I can take him out. That is actually huge. I totally forgot that safety goggles goes through the rage powder. I totally forgot. So what am I doing? Why am I not waterfalling? Um. Hmm. I think Thunder is bound to miss, right? 70 accuracy. I'm surprised it hit that much. Discharge is going to KO my Gyarados. Um. Surf's not going to KO my Gyarados, but it should KO the Moongus. I don't know if it will. <laughs> I'm going to go for a Surf. I'm going to go for a Surf. I'm going to go for a Surf, and I'm just going to waterfall the Flutter main down. I totally forgot. So we could have just did this the whole time. And Moongus is going to be paralyzed. That's big time for us. That is big time for us. Waterfall should KO. It is stab. See you later, Flutter main. And that's huge. I totally forgot about my safety goggles. I totally forgot about them. I love the safety goggles. I'm going to actually use it right. Surf's going to fly. Can it KO the Moongus? It does. Brings Gyarados down to 27. And now the problem here actually is he's going to bring out... He's going to bring out Palafin. Palafin can then jet punch my Gyarados. Oh, wait a minute. This It depends who is fourth or final Pokemon. It's because Palafin's tough. Palafin's tough. I would love to hit it with a Discharge or a Thunder and just kind of just knock it out. But Dragapult's also going to come out here who outspeeds me and who can probably pick up a KO onto me. Kind of hurts, right? It kind of does hurt. It kind of does hurt. Hmm. So obviously I'm going to go for the Discharge. I'm going to say screw it. I'm trying to hit this Palafin up. And you're just going to Jet Punch me. Jet Punch is going to KO. I'm going to go for the Ice Fang regardless. We have no protects on this thing. And I think we just lose both our Pokemon here, correct? It makes the most sense. Who's going to end up Terrastalizing? Is that Palafin or Polt? It's going to be Palafin. You grass type Pally? You're straight water. So he's going to Jet Punch my Gyarados down. We already know this is coming. And then Dragapult outspeeds my Pikachu and he's going to pick up the KO on the Pikachu because Pikachu's a little lightweight. Right? He's such a lightweight. So out comes the Jet Punch. Yep. But I do have two very, very good Pokemon as, as my backups. I got my Sucker Punch, Shen Pao, and I got my, my what's it called? Look at that. One Dragon Darts takes him out. <laughs> no problem. Poor Pikachu. Poor Pikachu. It's hard, but it's a tough one. But from here, I have my Sash, I have my Sucker Punch, and I have my E-Speed Normal Terror type Dragon Pool, which, not Dragon Pool, Dragon Knight, which I think has to come out here, right? It's an absolute must. We have to target down that power and we have to get after as much as we can. So that is gonna be my play. I'm also gonna sucker punch down the dragon pulse slot and we shall go from there. Yeah, normal terror right into you. Sucker punch right into you. Not playing around. I'm not playing around. Pikachu got some work done, so did Garrus. I thought that turn one was actually or the that lead was actually very good for us. The fake out. He did lead Palafin, so we knew he was gonna swap. And then just the fake out into the uh, drag dragon edge really helped us out. And then I forgot I have safety goggles. And then that actually helped us out even more. So I was sitting there after that. I was like, wait a minute. We didn't get affected by rage powder. Safety goggles, which came up so clutch. I was able to just waterfall the water main, take it out. But from here, normal Terra into the into the Dragonite. E speed as priority over Jet Punch, which is huge. And two E speed should, should KO this uh this Palafin. Out comes E speed. That's what's so good about this combo. The first turn priority moves. It's ridiculous. Sucker Punch comes out over on Pult. Pult's gone. And that's going to be game set match. Because I don't think he's taken out. I don't think he's taken out my uh, Dragonite one shot. Jet Punch comes out here. And if you go after Shen Pao, I am sashed up. Then you go after him. And I think you eat this. Yeah, all day. You get the multi skill too. Huge. Now E-Speed pokes here. Um, I'm just going to drop another Sucker Punch. And that's going to be game, set, match. Like I said in match number one, I'm promising you guys a victory here. And that's exactly what we did. Final match coming at you guys. And look at this team. Look at this. Our opponent's having some fun. Has really cool Pokemon. They got Noivern. Noivern is here to play. I haven't really seen this Pokemon too much on the rank ladder. They also have Back Caliber Scissor. Two amazing Pokemon. Grim Snarl. And then they are rocking out with Fluttermane and Indeedee. How should I play this one? Definitely want to use Pikachu again. He's just so much fun. He is just so much fun to use. So I'm going to go Pikachu, and I'm going to go in with Pelipper, right? We're just going to lead these two. Grimstar, I am a little scared of. I could fake it out and get off a little bit of damage, which could be 
could be great for us. So I'm gonna go Pikachu. I am gonna go with my boy Pelipper. Those two are gonna be my lead. We're gonna bring Shen Pao and probably Dragonite in the back. Work the best, right? Yeah. They're just so good on this team not to bring them. I'm rocking out with it. But all three battles, I brought in Pikachu for you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Hopefully we can actually start ripping up with him a bit more. He's been doing pretty good, but he's been more of a support Pokemon. Just faking out, having the other Pokemon set up and getting after it. <clears throat> so I'm hoping in this rain we can just start ripping with some Thunders, right? I mean, there's no Pokemon here that we are super effective up against, but still. I love a good old Thunder. Pikachu can paralyze with Thunder. It still does a decent amount of damage. The only problem with him is the first time prior to they're a problem because they just outspeed him. He's a glass cannon. Once he takes a hit, he's pretty much dead. And it's just it's just a problem. <laughs> it is just a big time problem. That's why going up against like a Shen Pao is very, very dangerous. Or even a Fluttermane. Fluttermane's gonna outspeed and they can absolutely rip into him. So that would be a problem if he does lead Fluttermane. Oh, that would be hmm. I would not like that. I would not like that. Because I can't fake it out. And then it just outspeeds me and KOs me. Problems. Gene's problems. I got problems, man. And Fluttermane's one of them. 99 problems and Fluttermane is one. It is one. <laughs> but let's see who they end up leading. They're just going to be... Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Ah, oh, and indeed, you can't even fake it out. Ah, oh, oh no. No, please. No, please. Please, no. Alright, um... Hmm. Let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Problems, problems, problems. We get the rain going, which is not bad. I don't mind rain. Um, going into an icy one is probably my play just to slow down everybody. That's kind of what I wanted to do. I want to go into a fake out and icy one, but I can't now. But I could go for a U-turn into you, but I'm going to go for an icy one. Actually, let's just do this. Let's go wide guarding and let's go for a big time thunder into Fluttermane. But I do think a Dazzling Lane comes out here. And maybe even an Expanding Force on top of that. So Wide Guard could be our best friend ever. Right? This could be awesome. <laughs> this could be big time. Look at my Pikachu, dude. Sitting there all adorable. Look at that little, little boy. Look at my mans. My mans, Pikachu. Show him again. There he is. Look at my man, dude. Thing's adorable. He's going to end up Terrasalize. And if I had to guess, that's Fluttermane going into Fairy Terra. Looking to just rip with Dazzling, right? Correct. So Wide Guard could be your best friend. Hopefully that's Choice Spec. That would be amazing. If you're Choice. No, you're Booster Energy. Helping Hand. This has got to be Gleam. This has got to be Gleam. You got to be Gleaming. I outspeed you. Wow. That's really good to know. That is really good to know that we outspeed you. Pikachu outspeeding that Flutter. Ooh! Another Thunder should KO, right? That's cutting it close. That's cutting it close. That is definitely cutting it close. Uh, I could tear it in the ground. I mean, that wouldn't really do much. I'm going to go for the U-turn pivot. I'm going to go for Thunder again. I'm going to go for Thunder again. He goes for the follow me. So smart call there. Pikachu getting off some damage. I like this. I like this. Thunder popping out here. Another nice chunk of damage here. Power gem coming through here into who? Into Pelipper. So he looks to just take out Pelipper. Okay. Hmm. I can't. That's a problem right here. I don't have Throat Chop. That's a problem. I do have my Focus Ash though. I could tear you in normal. Um... Hmm, I can't e speed. A little bit of an issue. You're tearing the ghost. I don't really like it. Um. Huh. I might just have to use Focus Ash here, correct? I might just have to use Focus Ash. Actually, I mean, if Shen Pao can KO with, it, with an Ice Spinner, that could be beautiful. That could be beautiful. We know we can't go for Sucker Punch. We know Ice Spinner's gonna do. Oh, we can destroy terrain here as well. That's huge. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go for a Thunder. And we'll just get after. We're hoping Ice Spinner can KO. I know we're dropping defenses on the field. And that would be big. Because Pikachu is outspeeding this Fluttermane. Which is big time news. And if I get rid of this terrain and say pick up a KO on both of these Pokemon. Oh my god, that could be gorgeous. So we're looking for the KO here. Ice Spinner should come out here first, which it does. Give me the KO. That's big time. Terrain gone. Thunder. K 
can probably KO here. We're out speeding this Fluttermane. And then I can first turn priority move up. Come on, Peek. Get it done, Peek. My mans. Pikachu better than Fluttermane. Confirmed right here. <laughs> that is huge. That is huge. I'm surprised he went for a power gem into Pelipper. I'm surprised he didn't take out Pikachu at that point, right? But hey, I'll take it all day. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because now we're sitting in an amazing position. Baxcalibur's going to come out here. I know Pikachu outspeeds Baxcalibur. But Pikachu probably doesn't outspeed Scizor. So, uh, from here, they already used Terror. We might as well just take a sword into that. And if I can get off of Thunder, I'd rather go into, go into Scizor. But I think this is the end of the line for Pikachu, right? I think the first turn priority moves come after me and we, we go out here, right? But no, he ends up bullet punching into you. Unless you're doubling down with an Ice Shard, you could be fine, but you're not. Sacred Sword doing a huge chunk of damage here. Thunder's going to come out here, picking up some big time damage. Pikachu, give me the para. We don't got the para, but this thing is rocking the Citrus Berry. Come on now. That ain't cool. That ain't right. That ain't right. Glaive Rush coming in here. That's that's a dead Pikachu. That's a dead Pikachu. <laughs> that Pikachu's a goner. Okay. That's fine. So from here, I'm going to go into Dragonite. Um, hmm. What is my play here, though? What is my play? Do I Terrasilize in the normal? I feel like, yeah, because if you have Ice Shard, we have, to, we have to get rid of you. So I'm just going to Sucker Punch to finish you off. And then I'm just going to Terrasilize. And I guess I'll just Rock Slide. Actually, I could just do this. This would probably be better for us. If we go Sucker Punch into you. And then just terrestrialize into normal and rock slide across the room. I think that's her best bet. I do think that's her best bet. Getting off more damage because I know rock slide will kill Baxi. And I know I kill Baxi Albert with an E speed any day of the week. So while we have two Pokemon out on this field, I want to deal as much damage as I can to Scissor because Scissor seems to be the bigger threat, right? Alright, alright, alright. Pikachu definitely ripped it up here, match number three. But we're looking for my back end Pokemon, Shen Pao and Dragon to clean this match up. Sucker Punch can come out here. Big time damage. We outspeed with Rock Slide. We're gonna go for Ice Shard, which is exactly why Terrasilize and Bullet Punch is also gonna fly here. So, okay. I kinda just need this thing to take out Scissor, right? Or at least land on both. If it lands on both, we, we pretty much win this match. And there it is. It lands on both. That's huge. Brings down Scissor to one HP. I can now E speed it, take it out. No problem. Good game. GG. That's how it's done. We lost match number one for this season, but we definitely made up for it. Match number two and three, absolutely ripped it up with Pikachu and won this game. Let's go. E-Speed comes out here. Dragonite being OP as always, picking up the final KO. Two and one, amazing winning record. Pikachu is now my dog. Absolute dog ripping up there in match number three and grabbing ourselves a lovely winning record. We went two and one for today's video. Love this team so much. You had the powerhouse of Dragonite and Shen Pao on the team. And then you had some fun Pokemon like Pelper, Pikachu, and Gyarados on the team, which made this team actually really, really fun and really strong to use. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.